Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a nail DIY video for you guys. As you all know, we're all quarantined inside the house. Everything is shut down. Everything's on lockdown. You're not able to get your nails done at the nail salon. So this nail DIY video is going to come in super handy for you guys. If anyone has an old set on their nails that they've been dying to take off um, so they can actually scratch their scalp, <laughs> then this video is for you. If you guys are looking forward to today's video, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below you can also go ahead and leave a comment i love writing back to you guys and just keep on watching so you can see how i remove safely remove my gel nails at home okay so the first thing i like to do is buff off the top layer of my gel nails um you don't have to use an e-file but if you have one it makes the job a lot easier because it's a lot quicker obviously but it's not necessary it's not like a must um but i'd say if you are someone who plans on like doing your nails frequently or just more often um at home then it's definitely an investment that i would suggest you make um because it just makes your life a lot easier like it just saves so much time it cuts down on the time so much so i'm just going in with my e-file that i purchased off of amazon i'll have everything linked down below in the description box and i'm just buffing off the top layer the clear coat and most of the gel polish i want to try and get off so that there's less product to soak off on my actual nail so you guys just see me doing that here with the e-file and i have it on like medium speed it's not on high and with an e-file you just want to make sure that you keep moving the e-file across your nail you don't want to hold it in one spot too long because then you'll kind of feel like a heat on your nail bed and it'll kind of burn and that does not feel good so you want to just continuously move that e-file up and down your nail i'm not touching my natural nail at all with the e-file i'm making sure that i'm only touching the gel polish and the nail like the plastic nail tip that i have on underneath And I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I am not a nail professional. I'm not a nail technician. I don't have my nail technician license. This is just what I like to do on myself at home. Um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because maybe it'd be helpful for anyone at home that has an old set that they need to remove and they want to know how they can do it safely. So that's what my nails look like, all buffed with the top layer removed. Then I'm going to go in with some pure acetone. This is extremely important when soaking off gel, even acrylic nails. Um, pure acetone is really going to soak off that product and the tip that's underneath. Um, and I got these cute little nail bowls off of Amazon. It was the two for I think $8.99. Um, so $9 and I found this to be extremely helpful and a bit more comfortable than soaking it off like in a bowl because of the way your hands are pos positioned and then I have this metal tool that I'm going to use to scrape off the product once my nails are done soaking so I'm just pouring the acetone the pure acetone into the little bowls I set a 20 minute timer on my phone and I'm just going to have my my hands sit in the pure acetone as I watch some YouTube videos Okay, so I'm coming back to you guys. 20 minutes is up. This is what my nails look like. They look hella crazy. Like, I was just kind of grossed out when I saw this, honestly. Um, but this is like all the gel product and the tip is like all mushy and just soft. So I'm able to scrape off all of this product with this metal tool that I'll have linked down below in the description box as well. This is extremely helpful with this part. Um, Honestly, I don't always do this to remove my nails, but when I want to like preserve my nail length and I don't want to cause too much damage to my nails, this is the method that I do. It is more time consuming than just taking a Metro card and popping them off, which is what I normally do the ratchet way, but I needed to show you guys how to safely remove your nails. So I'm just going in with the metal tool and I'm scraping off that product, everything that's just sitting on the top layer. There is some um, product that's still hard, 
there's still a bit of a nail underneath this product that I'm scraping off. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do next to remove that. But you just wanna go ahead and push that product off. These nails lasted me, like literally lasted me a month. I had no lifting and only one of them came off and that's cause I kinda like forcefully took it off cause it was lifting a little bit on my pinky and I just got annoyed with it so I took it off. But all the other nails, I had no lifting whatsoever. So I'm really proud of myself because that's the first, this is the first set that I've done where I haven't had any lifting on my nail bed. Just dipping my fingers back in the acetone just to kind of clean off any product that's sitting on top and then seeing what else I can scrape off. That's pretty much all the product I was able to take off. Some of it came off of all of the nail and then I had some product that still kind of stayed because it was really thick. So I'm just going back in with my e-file and I'm only buffing the product that's on my nail. I'm not touching my natural nail at all because it is kind of thin and I don't want to make it any thinner. So I'm making sure that I'm only buffing the product that's still sitting on top of my nail. Again, you don't need to use an e-file for this part. You can just use a regular nail file and do the same thing. It'll just take a little bit longer. I'm trying to get the product that's sitting on top as thin as possible with the e-file and then I'm going to go in with a regular nail file next and I'm just going to buff off whatever excess product is still there. It was a very thin amount so this really didn't take long. Maybe like another 5 to 10 minutes to just get the remaining product off of my nails with my regular nail file. Okay, once all of the product is removed, this is what your nails is going to look like. They're all clean. I shaped them up nice and square because that's the shape that I like. And I actually was able to get some length out of my nails this time around, which I was really happy about because my nails do not grow, which is why I'm always wearing tips. But they look really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands so I can get this nail dust off, and I'm gonna apply some hand lotion so that my fingers can be nice and moisturized because they were sitting in that acetone, they all dry, girl. And then I'm gonna take this nourishing cuticle oil from Gelish, and I'm just going to apply this to my cuticles because I want them to be nice and oiled up and clean and it just makes your hands look really nice and manicured when you apply a cuticle oil like this really just takes it to the next level and there you have it folks this is how you safely remove your gel nails at home in quarantine can i get a amen can i get a thumbs up <laughs> no seriously this video is actually very therapeutic to film for you guys and to edit like i was watching it back and i was like wow this is actually really calming like the removal process i loved it um definitely going to be doing this more often instead of just you know popping my shit off with my metro card sorry for cursing but yeah <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam there will be new videos three times a week so make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified when i upload remember i love you guys so much you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye